Sairam students, I welcome all of you to the first revision session. Today, we are going to uh, revise the lesson number 4, Environmental Balance. And uh, at the same time, at the end of the today's session, we are going to discuss what kind of objective questions uh, will be there for your mock test as well as for your unit test. Okay, so let's see once again. Uh, whatever content which we have already learnt in the lesson number 4 that is environmental balance okay so let's have a look at the picture what can you see here in this picture students yeah you can see the nat natural scenario am I right so what you can see here in this scenario you can see that many things like for example you can see that river then you can see sunlight then you can see sky then you can see certain cattle who are grazing the grass. Then you can see the rabbit as well. You can see the dog is there. You can even see that there are birds who are flying nicely in the sky. Again you can see that there are two kids who are watching the uh, scenario with their uh, grandfather. Am I right? So you can see that there are many type of the thing which we can observe in the nature. Correct. So... In the nature, there are basically two types of the thing. There are certain things which are present in the nature which comes under the non-living thing and there are certain things in the nature which comes under the living thing. Am I right? So, observe the picture carefully and now students, try to tell me that which of the following things comes under the living category and which of the following thing comes under the non-living category. Try to observe the picture carefully. And now tell me over here. So, I have listed few points over here. Whatever we have seen in this picture. Like what we had seen in this picture. We had seen that sunlight, air, water, soil, plants, animals, microorganism. So, these all are present in the nature. So, as you must be uh, uh, saying that the microorganism, they are not visible. Yeah. The microorganism, they are not visible to our naked eyes, but still they are present everywhere. They are present in the air, microorganisms are present in the soil, microorganisms are present in the water as well. So, the microorganisms are present everywhere. Right. So, in plants, all type of the plant will come under the plant category. In animal category, uh, aquatic animals will come, birds will come, even we will also come under the animal category. So, together we call as the one common thing that is the animal category. Okay. So, these are the certain things which I have listed in front of you. And these things which are present in the nature, we call them as what? Components of environment. Remember these things students. What are the components of the environment? Sunlight, air, water, soil, plants animal and microorganism these are the components of the environment out of this which are the living thing and which are the non-living thing any guesses yeah very good you guessed rightly that sunlight air water soil they all are non-living thing am i right so what are the living thing then Plants, animal, microorganism, they come under the living category. Am I right? So, many of the things which we get from the nature, half of the things, they come under the living thing category and few things, they come under the non-living thing category. So, here you can see that there are many components which are present in the environment. So, basically what is the environment students? Environment is nothing but whatever we found in our surrounding. Okay. And for our survival purpose also, as you know that we require air, we require water, we require soil, although they are non-living thing and we are living thing. So that means, can I say that living thing and non-living thing, they both are dependent upon each other. So, living thing and non-living thing, when both of them combine together, they make what? Environment. Okay. So, what is the basically meaning of environment students? So, the surrounding and the condition in those surrounding which affect the life of the organism are called as what? Environment. Repeat the definition once again. 
and try to note down the definition as well okay so what is the definition of the environment students the surrounding and the condition in those surrounding which affect the life of the organism they are called as what environment so whatever thing which are present around us be it living thing or be it non living thing together we call them as what environment understood student what is the meaning of environment okay so in the environment you must have seen that we visit wherever so there are many different sort of animal which are present here and there am i right so if you must have visited the desert area we most commonly observe the camel then we see their cactus plant which is growing over there suppose if we visit the himalaya region then we see the bear etc over there correct so region to region the type of the animal it will also differ am i right even the climate will also change according to the region to region so even you can see that there are different variety of the animal which are present in the nature different variety of the animal which are present in the nature these all animals are different from each other in the size in the shape in their color where they live what they eat in every aspect all these animals differ from each other am i right so these animal they are in variety they are different from each other am i right so what we exactly call it as we see a lot of variety in the animals we see a lot of variety in the plants as well so these different variety of the living things which we see in our surrounding what we call it as we call it as what biodiversity what we call it as biodiversity so what is the meaning of biodiversity students bio means life bio means what life diversity means what variety diversity means what variety so when you combine together what it becomes life variety means whatever variety we see among the animal whatever variety we see among the plants we call it as what biodiversity understood now what is the meaning of biodiversity student now let's see the definition of the biodiversity once again the variety we see in all the living things the variety we see in all living thing that belong to one particular area that belong to one particular area it is called as what biodiversity in simple language let me tell you that let's say for example the uh, example of let's say cat okay so cat is one animal do all cats in the world looks like same of course not there are different variety of the cats also correct so we can say that biodiversity exist in cat category also let's take an example of dog also there are many variety of the dog which are present in the whole world so even each and every different variety of the dog differ from each other so even can i say that there is a variety in the dog as well correct so whatever variety we see among the animals we call it as what biodiversity even biodiversity occurs in us also we all are human beings right although we all are human being we all does not look same we all are different from each other our height is different our skin color is different our nature is different our habits are different am i right so we all are different from each other so this is the biodiversity understood now the meaning of biodiversity students so what is the definition of the biodiversity i repeat once again the variety we see in all the living thing that belong to a particular area it is called as what biodiversity of that place understood now what i told you over here so you know that we have many needs like food water air cloth and shelter etc all these needs are met in our surrounding only correct in fact food water air are the needs of all the living things correct they are fulfilled by the environment so environment provides all the living organism food water and air without food and water and air none of the living organism will be able to survive correct so you can see that over here there are differences in the needs of each and every kind of the living thing correct so now i want to ask you one question students butterfly feed on the nectar of the flower 
can frog also do the same thing no of course not flowers butterfly collect the nectar from the flower that doesn't mean that frog will also do the same thing now one more thing i would like to ask you a sheep eats the leaves of the shrubs can tiger do the same thing no of course not if sheep is eating the leaves as a food material that doesn't mean ki tiger also will eat the food material as a leaves no of course not that means moral of the story what i want to tell you that there are different variety of the animal which are present around us they have the different different type of the food stuff so what are the different type of the food stuff it depends upon the source of the food which animal consume correct so depending upon the type of the food animal consume so they are again divided into two part okay so what are the two part of the animal let's see over here so you know that there are many variety of the animal which are present around us who directly eats the plant as a food material am i right can you guess the type of the animal who depend upon the plant for the food material please come on guess i want you people to answer yeah here in this picture what you can see you can see the deer what are the different type of the animal who eat the plant as a food material rabbit yeah who else eat the plant as the food material any guesses elephant okay more guesses again grasshopper okay so you can list up the uh, list of the animal who eat the plant as the food material okay so whatever list you will get you write down in your notebook okay so there are many type of the animal who eat plant as the food material so those animal students we call them as what herbivores what we call them as herbivores so what is the meaning of herbivores animals who eat plant as a food are called as what herbivores understood now what is the meaning of the herbivores and now there are many variety of the animal which are present around us they do not eat plants but these animal eat the other animal as a food material so what we call them as we call them as what carnivores what we call them as carnivores so what is the meaning of carnivores animals who eat other animals as the food material are called as what carnivores and one more thing student i would like to tell you that list up the name of the animal who are carnivores okay so this is a activity for you write down in your notebook the name of the animal who are carnivores okay so that you have to do it by yourself okay so what is the meaning of carnivores animals who eat the other animal as if food are called as what carnivores understood now one more thing so now as you know that students over here there are many different variety of the plant as well which are present around us have you seen them eating no why because plant prepare their own food plant prepare their own food with the help of the photosynthesis am i right so these plants prepare their own food with the help of carbon dioxide and water with the help of carbon dioxide and with the help of the water plant prepare their own food in the presence of the sunlight okay so the plants who prepare their own food they are called as what autotroph what we call them as autotroph so in the whole environment who are the autotroph all green plants are autotroph who are the autotroph all green plants so all plants who prepare their own food they are called as what autotroph and we animal we cannot prepare our own food and we are directly and indirectly dependent upon the plants for the food material understood now students what i want to tell you that so that's why we say that plants are important food of the food chain and plant are the main support of the food chain got it now so i hope so student whatever little bit part of the environmental balance as i discussed right now you must have understood now because right now there are certain objective type of question i am going to show you what kind of questions we are going to ask you in the exam so let's see that questions what type of question will be there okay 
now can you see here this is the um, answer in one word type or you can say fill up okay filling the blanks or answer in one word it will be somewhat looking like this in your exam sheet so you can see that in your exam there will be three or four option will be provided to you so out of three and four option you have to select the correct option okay now what you can see that student over here which of the following is non living thing read the question carefully which of the following is a non living thing so what are the option here option a animal option b plants option c air option d microorganism so what are your guesses student who is the living thing and who is a non living thing what they had ask you what we have to identify non living thing correct so animal is living or non living it's living plant is living or non living it's living air is living or non living it's non living what about the microorganism it is also living okay so whatever correct option will be there whatever answer you feel like it is a right option so for that option in your exam also you have to tick that option like this understood so on the correct option maybe you are operating the mock test or unit test on your mobile or laptop or computer screen you have to click on the right option got it so once you click on the right option you can move to the next part understood now so this type of question will be there for your exam for the unit test uh, like uh, filling the blanks or answer in one word got it now so don't worry you don't have to type anything options will be provided to you like this got it now shall we see the next one now see here now again there will be one more type question you can see that over here one more question i have asked you over here living thing who make their own food are called as what living thing who make their own food they are called as what any guesses there are again four option which are given to you option a herbivorous option b carnivorous option c autotroph option d heterotroph so what you feel students what will be the right option herbivorous means what these are the animal who eat the plant so this can't be the right answer carnivorous again they are the animal who eat the other animal so it can't be the other option okay what they had asked you here living thing who make their own food so who makes their own food plants i just discussed am i right so plant prepare their own food so what we call them yeah autotroph so out of a b c which is a right option c is the right option so you want to you have to click on the c option so like this you will click on the c option got it what you have to do here i hope so you must have understood how to tackle the question for the exam let's see one more true or false so you will get an idea how we are going to face the exam again there will be true or false question as well you can see that choose the true or false there will be again two options will be provided to you a and b again you don't have to type anything you have to ju just click on the option now what i had asked you over here birds are autotroph birds are autotroph do they prepare their own food no birds are animal they eat the other insect am i right so birds cannot prepare their own food so they are not autotroph so is it true or false students of course it is false so where you will click now you will click on true option or false option so the statement is false no so you will click on the false option so whatever answer you feel you have to click on that like this got it so this is how we are going to ask you questions in your exam as well i hope so students now you are aware about the objective type of questions which will be there for your examination okay so we will stop here and wish you a very all the best for your mock test do well bye take care